Hi everybody, welcome back to our video block. It's been a little over a week since we last came to you uh, with some travel uh, mixed in. It's uh, taken us a little bit to get back on track and uh, we're glad you're tuning back in and we hope you enjoy uh, our continued uh, attempts to, uh, to talk about issues that we think are important and uh, hope that you do as well. And as always, we look forward to your feedback uh, and to your su suggestions around uh, future topics. Uh, when I was uh, at the airport uh, on uh, Wednesday morning to leave uh, last Wednesday for NCA committee uh, meetings in Texas, I uh, was able to pick up the, uh, the Boston Herald and uh, inside was a wonderful article on our women's uh, ice hockey team and their accomplishments of winning the bean pot for the first time in about 14 years. And, Needless to say, we were so proud of them. I uh, had a chance to go to that game. It was a wonderful game. Great uh, talent and uh, uh, effort on display by both teams. A great crowd, great energy, and uh, just was so good to see uh, uh, women athletes playing at such a high level and, and being rewarded for it with uh, a wonderful crowd. And uh, what was ironic for me, um, given some of the topics that we've discussed in the past uh, on, on this blog uh, and the efforts that we had um, recently talked about with respect to the men's bean pot and the White Ribbon Day campaign uh, to uh, eliminate men's violence against women in the same uh, Boston Herald um, that day uh, was an article about a, a victim of uh, domestic uh, violence uh, who was uh, shot and killed uh, by her husband, her estranged husband. Uh, who then turned the gun on himself and uh, took his own life. And uh, the article speaks to the fact that she predicted uh, that she might uh, end up being killed at the hands of uh, her ex-husband because of his jealousy and his violence. And um, the reason I wanted to bring this back up again is because uh, over the last week or so, some other things have played out here on campus uh, that are related to all of this, and it's the controversy around the Barstool Sports uh, their blog, uh, their blackout tour that they're on uh, going around the country um, engaging uh, college uh, age uh, people in what they call their blackout tour. And the significance for Northeastern was that uh, uh, last week or so they had one of their events uh, at the House of Blues in, uh, in Kenmore Square near Fenway Park. And uh, a number of our students uh, decided that they were going to take uh, uh, some action and uh, be uh, an active bystander, if you will, to try to counter uh, some of the messaging that's coming out of uh, barstool sports by creating a, uh, uh, an event of their own to try to uh, rally against uh, barstool sports, and they called it um, KO Barstool, knockout barstool, if you will. And what I found to be uh, particularly interesting with respect to that, first I want to commend our students for feeling like they had power enough to, uh, 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 to be active in protesting uh, the uh, ins insensitive uh, nature of some of the comments and promotional uh, activities and or uh, writings that come off of that, uh, that Barstool Sports uh, blog. Uh, they make uh, references to rape as if it's uh, something to be joked about. Uh, their references and the way they objectify women uh, is uh, offensive to many, uh, me included. And our students felt like uh, if you stay silent, you condone. And I want to commend them on not staying silent. And so what was interesting was the way in which um, the folks from Barstool Sports and their followers uh, kind of reacted uh, to the Northeastern students taking a, a uh, a counter approach, if you will, to their activity by trying to demonize uh, the students and to uh, making um, personal references to uh, what they might look like or the fact that they deserve to have uh, uh, sexual violence perpetrated against them uh, because they happen to not um, agree uh, or condone what was being written or promoted on the barstool.com uh, website and the blog. And, uh, you know, that kind of behavior, uh, there's a precedent for demonizing people that don't agree with you, uh, and it never results in, in, uh, in good things for our society. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I, I felt uh, compelled 
to want to use uh, this vehicle today uh, to commend our students for taking a, an active bystander approach and to, um, to, to tell the folks at Barstool that they really should be thinking differently about the kinds of things that they're promoting and, and what their so-called agenda uh, is. Uh, at best, it's sophomoric, and at worst, it's dangerous. And uh, no more dangerous than understanding the link between uh, the objectification of women, um, violent uh, language and abusive language that turns into psychological abuse that often then turns into physical violence, sexual assault, and in many cases, uh, death. Uh, so it's something that uh, many of us who understand the things that that contribute to men's violence against women take very seriously. Uh, all of us that have women in our lives that we care deeply about uh, should be offended. Uh, I'm uh, interested in having a conversation with the folks at uh, the House of Blues to try to better understand uh, why they're condoning this kind of behavior by allowing Barstool Sports to use their venue uh, to promote uh, their values. Uh, and also Live Nation, who is the uh, corporate uh, owner, if you will, of uh, the House of Blues uh, and um, uh, other uh, related uh, corporate entities that seem to be in support of some of the things that are coming out of, uh, coming out of Barstool Sports. So um, just my opportunity to, uh, uh, to be an active bystander as well, uh, to stand up and not remain silent, uh, to live up to the white ribbon pledge that I've uh, been willing to take and asked others to take as ambassadors for uh, the issues around men's violence against women. And I hope that there are others out there who feel as strongly as I do uh, about uh, this kind of thing. I look forward to your comments. I look forward to your suggestions. Uh, and I hope that you'll join me in sending a message to the Barstool Sports type uh, websites and blogs out there that we aren't going to stand silent and allow them to keep pen, uh, perpetrating uh, those kinds of hurtful images and, um, and values uh, that can be so harmful to our society in general. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I look forward to your comments uh, and your suggestions, and uh, uh, I'll look forward to coming back to you again next week. Thanks so much.